Hello everyone. I saw an article recently posted on insider.com about TikTok users who are filing down their teeth for whatever reason. And it reminded me that I've seen some pretty weird trends these past couple of years in regards to teeth. I have five major trends that come to mind that I'll be talking about in this video today. Disclaimer, I am not a dentist. This video was created for entertainment purposes only and is not to be perceived as professional advice in regards to dental health. So, um, it's such a small chip that they said you could file it down. And when I YouTube some people, they try to um, file it with a nail filer. <laughs> anyway, here it is. And I'm going to get really close inside my mouth and then file that down. Let's do this, okay? <laughs> Let's hope it works. Oh my god. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of this video, one of the trends is shaving down your teeth with a nail file. People have been doing this for years, but TikTok has made it popular these past couple of weeks. For those of you who may not know why this is so bad for your teeth, let me show you why. People are grinding their uneven teeth down with nail files and uploading the videos to the app. Dr. Chad Evans, co-founder of Texas-based Smile Magic Family Dental, told Insider he became aware of the trend after colleagues showed him the videos on TikTok. As the father to two tween girls, Evans said that he's concerned. It's not the same as filing your fingernails. If you file your fingernails today, they'll grow back tomorrow. Evans said, our teeth are permanent. If you file down the enamel in your teeth, it will never grow back. And you risk tooth sensitivity and then also losing your tooth. Teeth are made up of layers. The outer layer, or enamel, is the strongest and most important layer according to Evans as it protects our teeth from decay. The moment that you remove tooth structure, if you don't know what you're doing, you're doing irreparable damage and destruction to your teeth, Evans told Insider. Dentists and other professionals who understand the structure and anatomy of teeth can safely file down your teeth. In some cases, professionals might even decide adding structure to your teeth with a crown or veneer. That might just be better than grinding down the enamel in order to even them out. But untrained eyes can grind through vital layers, causing painful tooth sensitivity and can even kill the tooth. This is the Carbon Cocoa Toothpaste and right here I have the charcoal powder. So, um, I take this out of the package, I'll gently damp the toothbrush, and then I will dip it into the charcoal, and then I will scrub it on in circles for two to three minutes. How it looks inside, it's totally black. I noticed this one started around 2017, I believe. It seemed to start with charcoal face masks, then just charcoal beauty products in general, and finally charcoal toothpaste. People claim that charcoal toothpaste can whiten teeth, which I'm sure it does for some, but it also doesn't seem very safe. There haven't been enough studies done on charcoal toothpaste according to Healthline.com. More research is needed on the long-term effects of charcoal toothpaste. A 2017 review trusted source warns that dentists should advise their patients to be cautious when using charcoal-based toothpastes due to its unproven claims and safety. They also go on to say that charcoal toothpaste is too abrasive for everyday use, most charcoal toothpaste brands don't contain fluoride, it may cause staining on some teeth, and that charcoal's effects on dental restorations is not known. They then go on to show the pros and cons of using charcoal toothpaste, and currently the cons outweigh the pros. Even though we don't have enough information on whether or not we should be using charcoal toothpaste, that doesn't stop some people from using it in their everyday routine. When I was 17, my tooth fell out and I wasn't insured, so I wasn't able to get it permanently fixed. That lasted until I was about 22. At first when it fell out initially, I started using like polydent, but it would still fall out. And so a friend of mine suggested that I use super glue. I was probably using it for about a year before I noticed my gums were starting to get a hole in it. I was really scared, but it didn't stop me from using the super glue. I know this one seems out there, but trust me, people do it. 
Now, from what I can tell, the majority of people who use superglue on their teeth are usually trying to repair a broken or cracked tooth. They are either doing it as a temporary fix or cannot afford the dental treatment necessary to repair the tooth. Let it be known that using superglue on a damaged tooth is never a good idea. Now, aside from people using superglue to repair a damaged tooth, there are those out there who use it for cosmetic reasons. Hey, this is Beauty by the Bee. Today I'm going to be showing you how to DIY your own tooth gem. And then the last thing you need is Gorilla Glue. I was a little nervous about using the Gorilla Glue on my teeth. I thought maybe it would mess up my enamel or something, you know? Um, but after they fell off, it had no residue. It left absolutely nothing on my tooth at all. So I just put like a little bit right there. You can see. So now I'm literally just going to dip this into that glue. Just rub it through. I'm sure there are those of you out there who have never purchased Gorilla Glue before, so let me read you the warning label on the back of my own bottle. Warning, bond skin instantly. Eye and skin irritant. May produce allergic reaction by skin contact. Do not swallow. Do not get in eyes. Do not get on skin or clothing. Do not breathe in the fumes. Keep out of reach of children. Wear safety glasses and chemical resistant gloves. If swallowed, call a poison control center or doctor immediately. Oh, jeez. I'm all for natural remedies. I'm just not sold on oil pulling. Grab a spoon and put it in your mouth. Be sure as you're swishing it around, do not swallow it because you'll be in basically ingesting the toxins that you're pulling. So here you go. Put it in your mouth five to 15 minutes. What is oil pulling? Oil pulling is an ancient process that has gained popularity mostly by social media and celebrities who shout their testimonials. Proponents of the practice state that it helps with everything from cleaning and detoxing the mouth, pulling toxins, thus the name oil pulling, whitening teeth, curing bad breath, and reducing inflammation that leads to conditions such as eczema, arthritis, and gum disease. The practice simply involves swishing one's mouth with a high-quality oil for 20 minutes a day. Organic coconut, sunflower, or sesame oils are the most often recommended. Listen, even if oil pulling worked, I don't think I could do that shit for 20 minutes a day. Seems just a tad bit excessive. What is the American Dental Association's stand on oil pulling? Currently, there are no reliable scientific studies to show that oil pulling reduces cavities, whitens teeth, or improves oral health and well-being. Based on the lack of scientific evidence, the American Dental Association does not recommend oil pulling as a dental hygiene practice. The ADA continues to recommend that to maintain good dental health, you brush twice a day for two minutes with fluoride toothpaste, and floss between your teeth once a day, and don't use tobacco. Now, I'm not going to debate anyone on whether or not oil pulling helps maintain healthy teeth, but I will say that the people who claim oil pulling, and sometimes essential oils, can heal tooth decay, irritate the living poo-poo out of me. After a tooth is formed, the cells die off, leaving just the enamel and mostly dentin. When a cavity starts and forms a hole in the tooth, there aren't any cells there to regrow the enamel, and the dentin-forming cells inside the tooth are very limited. From all the research I've done, you can only reverse tooth decay in its earliest stages. And even then, it's extremely difficult to do. Now, with all of that being said, there are people online who believe they can heal advanced stages of tooth decay with oil pulling or essential oils. And unfortunately, a lot of these people are experimenting on their children. Yikes. I'll show you some screenshots here. Heal tooth decay naturally. The cure, nutrient-rich foods, removing phytic acid, the right toothpaste, oil pulling. I will use my lavender and deep blue essential oils instead of getting a cleaning, and have a great teeth hygiene. Add in fermented cod liver oil and butter oil to his diet. This blend provides both vitamins A and D to cure the tooth decay. This is my cavity and I want to hear success stories. Has anyone managed to reverse something of this size? Oil pulling cured mine completely. Also used colloidal silver. Spray every time I ate or drank anything and took a high dose of vitamin C. It will need filling once healed. If the teeth are infected, is it too late for natural remedies? Is there anything that can get inside to heal the tooth infection? I believe long-term root infection can cause immune issues and worse health issues and damage the adult tooth. 
Uh, also new this morning, a disturbing online trend really has a lot of dentists across the valley sending out a very clear warning. Oh, why do kids do this? They're trying to straighten their teeth with everyday items you can find at home. Yeah, Beth, I actually have one of those items right here. Small rubber bands or hair ties. This is what kids are using to try to fix their teeth. If a person puts those on themselves and they don't know what they're doing, they could cause irreparable damage as well as undesirable results by putting those forces on the teeth. And his biggest worry is how easily you can find these videos online. They show exactly how to make these do-it-yourself braces with items you can find inside your own home. But doing this can move your teeth the wrong direction or worse, make them fall out. This one is painful for me to talk about, so I'm just going to speed run this last trend. It's called the corn drill challenge. This one started four years ago, but I still see people currently doing this from time to time. Just a heads up, you will see some teeth being knocked out and possibly a little blood. I'll leave a timestamp in the comments if you want to skip this part. Even though this trend was pretty old, I thought I would still include it since TikTok managed to make it popular again a few months ago. I'm looking at you, Jason Derulo. Besides the corn drill challenge, I've seen people use power tools on their teeth for extractions, but since this video is already pretty long, I won't go into too much detail about that today. Anyways, sorry this took me so long to upload, I have not been feeling the best lately. If this video was trash, it's because I'm high on cold medicine and not by choice, I just don't feel good. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. They love it when I turn up the bass.